Hello everyone, I'm excited to discuss AWS Web Application Firewall or WAF support for the header order match statement, enabling customers to specify the order in which HTTP headers appear in requests. With this feature, customers can further strengthen their access control measures by verifying additional dimensions of request metadata. AWS WAF is a managed service that sits on the perimeter of your AWS environment and helps protect your web applications from security risks that can cause you significant downtime or can consume excessive resources. AWS WAF MASH statements compare the web request or its origin against criteria that you provide. For many statements of this type, AWS WAF compares a specific component of the request for matching content. Prior to this feature release, customers could use WAF match statements to inspect the contents of request headers and compare its origin against the provided criteria. Customers had to rely on various workarounds to inspect the order of headers in incoming requests, such as custom scripts or additional layers of infrastructure. With AWS WAF support for header order match statement, customers can seamlessly control allowed requests based on the order of headers within WAF rules. For instance, browsers with the same HTTP protocol version usually send HTTP headers in a certain order. If the browser type indicated by the user agent header does not correspond to the order of the request headers, then the request may not be coming from the claim source. With the header order match statement, customers can create a rule that checks for specific headers and enforces a specific order, such as content type, followed by authorization. The search string is specified by header names separated by colons with no spaces. Header order match statements can also be used to identify DDoS attack by IPs by enumerating the header order volume in web traffic during an attack and comparing the volume of the header order prior to an attack, as well as a method of fingerprinting requests by identifying anticipated requests based on the expected header order sequence. So let's take a look and see how you can use the header order match statement to eliminate unwanted traffic by only allowing traffic with a specific custom header your application is accepting. You know your application is not going to process the request without the header, but with WAF, you can block the request prior to it reaching your application. Now, let's switch over to the console for a brief demonstration. Here we are in the AWS console. We've navigated to WAF and we've begun the process of creating a access control list. So here we've given the ACL a name, description, and also it has a CloudWatch metric name. And we've also associated the ACL with an application load balancer. Now let's select next. So this will be a custom rule. So under rules, we'll select add rules and add my own rule. So the first step to creating our own rule is selecting the rule builder type. So we've selected this rule builder rule type because we're creating a custom rule and we're expecting for a pattern. So that pattern is going to be the order of the headers within the incoming request. Next, under rule builder, we have a name that we've already provided and we've selected the regular rule type. You can select a rate-based rule type. And so this is going to be if you also want to have a limit on the number of requests that's allowed within a five minute period um, for any request that matches the criteria that you're adding to this rule. Next, you have a couple of options of monitoring the request based on the statement that you're creating below. So you can either assess traffic based on that matches the statement you're creating. Maybe if you're creating multiple statements, you can say it has to match all of these statements or maybe match at least one of these statements. So maybe there's multiple header orders that you're looking at. And so of course they can't match all of the header orders that you're providing and only match one. It can be an or statement or you want to assess traffic that any traffic that does not um, contain this header order, you can do that as well. And we'll select matches this statement. So for inspection, we've selected header order. That's gonna be the request components that we are looking at. Then for match type, we're looking for exactly matches the string because we're looking for this very specific header order with these very specific contents. For text transformation, we've chosen lowercase. And so this is just going to um, make sure that the request, the content, of the requests are all going to be converted to lower, transform to lowercase. For oversized handling, this tells AWS WAF what to do with the request when the request component that the rule inspects is over the size limit. So you have three options. There's match. 
So this is going to treat the web request as matching the rule statement. Therefore, AWS WAF will apply the rule action to the request without evaluating it against the rules inspection criteria. Then there's continue. So you're going to expect the request component normally according to the rule inspection criteria. Therefore, AWS WAF will inspect the request component contents that are within the size limit and you have no match. So you're going to treat this web request as not matching the rule statement without evaluating it against the rules inspection criteria. Therefore, AWS WAF will continue its inspection of this web request using the rest of the rules in the web ACL like it would do for any non-matching rule. We are going to choose the match, but be mindful we're also selecting this block action. And so when you use the match option in a rule that has its actions at the block, the rule will block request whose inspected component is oversized. So let's say you have a bad actor who's trying to overflow your header and bypass the rule, that request will be blocked. You also have other options under action. So of course you have allow, there's also count. So if you just wanna see how many header, how many requests are coming in based on a header order, you could add a capture challenge and that's just to verify, um, maybe a specific header order might be suspicious. So you want to verify that request and you can also have a challenge action. Next we can select add rule. So we've walked through the process of creating this rule with the visual editor, but I also want to point out that you can use a JSON editor as well to create your rule. So see, we have the, you're providing a name, you selected your oversized handling, maybe your positional constraint. So that's what we want looking for um, traffic that exactly matches the string that we've listed. And we also have that transformation added to as well. The last step to creating our rule is deciding on the default web ACL action for requests that don't match any of the rules. So to recap, we've created this rule to where we're only allowing traffic that matches this specific header order. So the default action for requests that don't match this specific header order, we want to block. Then we're going to select next, next, Leave everything as default and select next one more time. For the final step, we're going to review our web ACL as well as the rule we created. And if we are satisfied, we will select create web ACL. All right, so now that we have our header order match statement rule created, let's test this out. So just as a brief overview, this is the rule that we created. So we're stating that any request that comes in with this specific header order is going to be blocked and the ACL will allow any request that does not have this specific header order. So we're going to test this out by making a curl command with this header order to the application load balancer. And we can see that the request was blocked, which means that our rule does work. So I know that you can only see the last two portions of the header order that we have stated within the rule. So that's the custom header order as well as the content type, but the host, user agent, and accept header orders are added by default with the curl command. So if we switch over and look at our CloudWatch logs, we see that this was the full request. So you have your host, user agent, accept custom and content type header orders in the same header order that we have listed within our header order match statement. So now that we have tested out our header order match statement and we've confirmed that it is blocking traffic with the header order that we specified within the statement, let's make sure that all the traffic that doesn't match this header order match statement is still being allowed. So we're going to send a request to the application load balancer all right, and we access the application. So you can see we did it, the header order match statement rule works. So just to verify, if you go down into our developer tools and look at the specific header for this request, we can see 
that our request headers, they're accept, accept encoding, accept language, connection, host, referrer, and then user agent. So this is a completely different header order in this video, from what we, we discussed to AWS be blocked within our header order match statement, firewall, which shows for the header that order match our statement. rule Enabling customers work. to specify the order in which HTTP headers appear in a request, allowing customers to further strengthen their access control measures by verifying additional dimensions of request metadata. If you'd like to learn more, please visit www.awes.com forward slash WAF.